A month ago, I hosted the USA vs UK build and raiding challenge, and the UK lost. As a proud Brit, I am not taking that lion down, so today, we're gonna make this a best of three situation. I found two teams in my Discord, both with 6,000 hours, one from the UK and the other from the US of A. Let's see if the UK can clinch victory over the Yanks. Enjoy. Are you boys ready to go and get building? Yeah! Hell yeah! All right, boys, let's get going. Good luck. You guys can fly off, by the way. You can fly, right, find a place to build. <laughs> the builders are going to have 45 minutes to build with unlimited wood and stone, 50,000 metal fragments, 500 high quality metal, and 12 auto turrets. Once the bases are complete, I will be unleashing my team of raiders to retrieve the golden egg in 45 minutes or less. Enjoy. You boys found a spot to build, have you? Yeah. Okay, so yes. <laughs> why are we selecting this area? Build. Uh, yeah, mainly build proof. Yeah, so they could fob maybe on the shop side kind of well. I mean, it depends how big you're building. There's some pretty good spots here. Yeah, there's a couple of good spots. So uh, what kind of design are you guys going to be going for today? I've got no idea. Uh, Probably a 2x2 two two circle base, maybe a 4x4. Four four. Similar to what we've built before. Okay, so you guys have played together absolutely tons in the past. So, you know, you yeah, used to yeah. play together. Do you, do you want place the first foundation then mason just so i got someone to blame <laughs> <laughs> that's a great start don't kill him you're kind of representing the uk here now look the stakes are high okay so much pressure <laughs> we did a uk versus usa video the video did great everyone loved it we lost, boys. Yeah, we'll be fine. I mean, we've won like four v twenties and stuff, so I'm expecting good things. Then there should be this should be yeah. easy. Yeah, but there's good days and bad days. Swings and roundabouts. Right there. Timer has begun. Yeah. It's a shoddy start. <laughs> Not right, I put B grid on. You, you're putting pressure on me. Nearly 30 seconds in and the 2x2 two two has begun. What shall we do? Oh, Mason, move. Oh. Right, there's no need for that. All right, boys, keep building. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> <laughs> this video is sponsored by the fastest growing Rust website, Rust Magic. They've just added thousands of different slots. Live games like Blackjack with a real dealer. Six or less. Son of a gun! If that doesn't float your boat, why not try out their case battles with unique features like a 2v2v2, the case battle coin flip mode, and give the borrow system a try, meaning you can make a $100 battle for just $20. There's loads of other games too, but my personal favourite is the Minesweeper, and the top 30 players this month get $40,000. You can deposit with skins, credit card, PayPal, or crypto, and when you're done winning, it's just as easy to withdraw. If you're too shy to deposit, there's tons of free systems that give you free coins like rake back free cases the rain system and of course using my code on screen now max Miz. a huge thank you to rust magic for making videos like this possible too fair i don't normally build i normally just get mason to build it all for me yeah you, are you the pvp chat are you no no he's I'm a more of player, much. <laughs> yeah he just puts all the decorations down just to be clear we've got jeremy over here who's a role player and well, lemon who I is a builder but can you do other stuff? Are you good at PvP and stuff like yeah, that? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. I, mean, I, I feel like my, my expectation has just dropped quite quite a lot. It's, <laughs> you no, say no, that you're no. a role player. Right, we was playing <laughs> two times today. We was slamming. <laughs> oh, slamming on 2x, okay. It did come crumbling down though pretty quick. All right, so maybe maybe still worried. Crumbled faster than the British Empire by the sounds of it. Guys, I need some positivity here. Tell me why you think you're going to be better than the American team. European servers are a lot harder. I think the skill gap's bigger. If you go on a US server, I think that is a lot easier than a Europe server would be. Oh, so you, uh, you'd play a US server when you want like a weekend off just to chill? <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Easy loot, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah pretty much. I just feel good about myself. Yeah. pretty much it, yeah. I'm enjoying the build so far. It's not looking too bad. It's better be good, I'm telling you. Okay. Hello, Mr. Americans. How are we doing? Good, good. Ready to win. Okay, ready to win. Okay, so uh, have you guys played together a lot in the past? Um, nope. Nah. No. No, no, no. No, no. Like, have you just met today for this event? Or? Yeah, yeah. Oh, we're still winning. 
Okay, okay. So look, both teams here have just about 6,000 hours. Do you guys think you're going to be able to win today? Of course. But no way, I'm quitting. So what kind of base design are we going for today? Yep, it's 4x4. Four four. Okay, um, I hate it already. Great, don't tell me anymore. The EU team seems to think that uh, EU servers are harder than American servers. Like, there's better players, better skill level. What do you guys say to that? Not true. Not true, we're still winning. Nope. Not Doesn't true. Matter. Right, well, look, guys, I'm going to let you start building. Once you place your first piece of twig, the timer will begin. The timer has begun. All right, be great, too. Turn that on. Yeah, that's it. Okay. okay. The simple 4x4 has begun. Some quick production, actually, from you boys here. Really, really fast production. Not even 40 seconds in. 1% of your time. Actually, that's not right. Nearly 40 seconds in to your 40 minutes of time. And you've done an incredible job already, guys. Wow. This thing is coming together quickly. Kobe, are you a bit of a builder professional, are you? Yeah, yeah. I got a YouTube. You got a YouTube channel? Yeah. Yeah, well, what's it called? Is it called Kobe? Kobe Builds 1K Subs. Is this the Snowballers 4x4? It's a little bigger, but yeah, mostly. It's bigger than that one. Okay. Do you think that a big base is good when there's only two of you, or...? Yeah, yeah, like, I think we can, rate, we can win easily against four people. Oh, and you got a removable bunker for your externals. I love that. Or have you? Does it work? Well, whatever. <laughs> no, I, I think it did work, yeah. So, Americans, the base is coming together hella fast. <laughs> really fast. Um, I said earlier that the EU team thought that UK servers were a little bit more difficult to play. Have you tried EU servers? Yeah, yeah, I play EU all the time, I mean... I got like 100 ping, so I'm chilling. So you play EU servers because you're more of a challenge, right? It's a bit more difficult than yeah. the American servers. Uh, it's usually like easy. I don't know. It's, oh, oh, it's easier. It's easier on EU servers. Uh, just bad players. Bad players. Bad players all over EU, yeah? I feel like there's going to be a little of animosity between the two teams here. I feel like both of you are going to be uh, hating on each other's bases and stuff a bit. But honestly, guys, five minutes in, you've built a pretty big looking 4x4 already looking forward to seeing you know how you do the roof and stuff and how you uh i mean it looks like you've kind of semi started some sort of kick wall or maybe like a mini funnel wall at the bottom here i'm not quite sure what you're planning to do with this but looking forward to seeing it guys keep building good luck all right yeah thank you love you how are we doing Ooh. Quite some technical difficulties what we're getting there. Yeah, well, what's going on technical difficulty wise? Uh, lack of lack of knowledge from someone. <laughs> right, I'm trying. Look, I don't want to. I don't want to upset you guys, but the other team's been building for five minutes and their base is bigger than this. <clears throat> right. Well. So well. imagine you've got a finger, right? You got to pull your finger out, and you got to get building because this this isn't gonna do. But when you think about it. They ain't got gates sorted yet. They ain't got their externals sorted. How do you know? They have got gates and externals. They got removable TCs no, and bunkers and things. Uh, and yeah, but you see, all that's pointless because, right, let's be honest, they're not defending the loot. They're defending the TC. Yeah, I've got a lot of faith in you boys, right? And I can't reiterate this enough. If the UK loses this, we have lost full stop. Like, the USA is better, okay? America number one changing my youtube channel name to america number one changing my banner to america number one that's it everything is going to be all about america i'm going to move there i'm going to pretend that i'm secretly american you know because i'm ashamed of the uk team's performance that's it right like, i don't want to have to do that but i will <laughs> it'll be fine it'll be fine i've got no idea what we're doing here this isn't connected to anything it's gonna decay yeah but no no it's fine watch watch oh oh <laughs> no, oh. no 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 what are we doing with the roof mason hopefully making the roof about three floors higher than where it currently is but it's completely up to you <laughs> ah the uk are gonna lose again we tried it's not good enough if you're enjoying the video guys consider dropping me a sub and a like down below it lets me know what kind of videos you guys want to see more of and join my discord events community link to that is down below and you could be in videos just like this one look maybe when the raid starts you know you guys are gonna pull pull out some some devious plays you guys have got 22 really minutes and 30 that. seconds remaining i have to go i'm gonna i'm gonna lose my mind i'm gonna keep complaining <laughs> so please 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 go on like pull it together it's it, you know yeah. what you've got something here just finish it all right 
You got 22 no. minutes. Good luck, boys. Right. Holy crap. This is coming together fast. Only been building for 12 and a half minutes. Less than a third of your total time. And this is looking good. We're starting to get the peaks finished as well. And the peaks aren't bad, actually. This thing is coming together hella fast. Now, the base itself is looking good. You've got, obviously, all of your metal HQM still to use. You haven't done any electronics. It doesn't actually look like you've done a single deployable. I'm not seeing a single door or anything anywhere. Uh, you've got the very, very standard, like, uppy-downy, you know, to get into the uh, TC room, which is a good idea. The shells... See, I'm not a massive fan of 4x4s. I understand what, that they're super defendable, but, like, most bases get offline at the moment, I think. So, I feel like 4x4s are great if you're getting raided. Uh, if you're offline, I feel like the lack of honeycomb makes them super cheap to raid. Uh, so in this scenario, 4x4 is great to build. But in general, I don't think 4x4s should be used as much as they are in servers in general. Are uh, you starting to get your windows and stuff down? I actually really like these like uh, compound peaks that you've got with the uh, roof pieces. I know you can hide lockers and stuff behind them. I imagine you might put an auto turret there on them, though, yeah. on the little triangle. The gaps and peaks are great. Personally, I would maybe, maybe have put the... A compound peak half a wall higher than it is just because then you get a little bit of a better angle and there's nothing stopping you really uh, doing like a jump up onto the half wall i don't think the peaks in general though are really good really really good peaks what's the plan with the roof you're sort of leaving it as it is oh no no not done we're gonna have like towers on the roof that go off but i'm just not done with that yet yeah yeah i thought you'd have um, something else it does look unfinished that's all good we're, we're not losing not no us. no you're definitely not losing i like the design though uh, i don't think it's gonna be difficult for you guys to defend from this either like with all the peaks and stuff it definitely comes down to skill a little bit i think you guys are gonna do fantastic i'm looking forward to seeing the towers as well on here i like that you're using the metal i like that you're doing deployables you're not even halfway through your build time and i would say this is starting to look over half finished so you're definitely Definitely comfortable for time. Could do armored doors for uh, core. Because there's not really anything else we should be using those on. You've used the metal on the core, and then you've got the uh, the HQM like on the on the in the core where the TC is. You've probably got tons of metal to use still. What are you thinking of using all that metal on though? I'm probably gonna upgrade it mostly on frames. Yeah, that's a maybe good idea. The towers. Yeah, you don't want to lose the shooting floor. That's a big L when that goes. <laughs> what if the UK team also doesn't lose the raid? Like who? Who do we class as the winner? Um, I don't know. That's that's a good question. Um, <laughs> least least deaths or, or how close they got. Oh, okay, okay, All right. That's fair enough. I, I'm they gonna leave you to it. I like the furnace wall, guys. This is looking fantastic. Quite a big base, but you've only used half of just over half your time. You have got 19 minutes remaining. Good luck, oh, right? I've well, cracked it. I've got a brilliant idea. You've got 11 oh. minutes remaining. Yeah. <laughs> no, you know what? I've got so much faith in us, it's crazy. Yeah, crazy amount of faith. Mason, do you want to just start doing turrets? To be honest, the base is looking better and better. Like, the longer you're building, the better the base is looking. I am also just a little bit worried that this isn't going to be enough. When you think about it... I'm thinking about it. Good good <laughs> things take time. Eight and a half minutes until you're going to be finished, finished. Like the base is going to be done. Everything's wired. Everything's connected, powered. All of your shotgun traps, all the turrets, everything placed, windows, doors, all of it. What is going on with the base, though? Like, seriously, like what's, what's going to happen with this roof? Basically, the roof is probably going to get taken out in about five seconds. Mm -hmm. I feel like the roof needs a lot more work, but you guys are doing great. Look at all these frames. Damn, just look at them frames. Mm, great looking frames. It's the only way I can stop it from grumbling. <laughs> oh, six and a half minutes, guys. Six and a half minutes. This is going to be the worst base you've ever seen. And we're going to get laughed at. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why did you even apply if you didn't think you could build? No, because I just had full faith in Mason. Why are you bringing me into this? I got a message. <laughs> I got a message about an hour ago. There'd be nothing funnier, honestly, than you guys. You get raided, win. you just somehow absolutely smash them, win. I don't want this to look like this when I come well, back, right? <laughs> this, I don't even know how you managed to build all of this in this time. This is amazing. I'm just that fast. It's that easy. Guys, you've got 10 and a half minutes. You're so chilling, it's ridiculous. It's looking great, though. Like, you got the furnace wall, you got the like mini kick wall, just sort of coverage at the bottom here just to sort of look into your compound it's all windowed and stuff you've got turrets that still need wiring um again the one weakness of uh these sort of bases is just it's it's only like really like three layers to the core uh once they get through the uh, compound but 
That might not matter if they can't actually just shoot at your core without dying constantly over and over again. I like the roof. Um, I like the like multi-layered peaks, being able to shoot through shooting floor peaks from the roof. And obviously these are kind of like roof retakes as well, if they get onto your roof for whatever reason. It's a good looking 4x4, actually. It's a really good looking 4x4. Not too big as well. I think maybe a trio, maybe a quad could comfortably live and defend out of this. A duo... I think it might struggle a little bit, but might not matter too much, honestly. Uh, might be just perfect for a duo as well. Yeah, you guys are cooking. You're doing great. I'm going to be back in a few minutes. Guys, you have one minute remaining. Well, we yeah, tried. We don't right. even have turrets on the roof. You don't have any doors. Type garage door, G-A-R, and just fucking fly around and place them everywhere. Guys, you've got 25 seconds remaining. Oh, every floor. Look at the bottom. The bottom. Five. Four, three. Oh my god, holy crap, guys. Stop, 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 stop. <laughs> what the fuck? What the fuck oh. went wrong? Everything. No, you know what? This is how we <laughs> this is how we want it. We want them to get on the roof and be so confused they don't know what to do. <laughs> I wanna cry. I really... Oh, no. I don't even know what to say, man. Yeah, can, can we quickly place that? Is it not in the core? Frankly, not even having the TC. It's kind of like a forfeit. Like, I, can you not place it? I'm deleting all the externals. How do you disconnect these? <laughs> <laughs> We've messed up so bad. Uh, do you I know what? Even, I, I don't even know if, like, finishing this would help you. Look! Right here! Look at this external! <laughs> doors on your gatehouses you've not got like oh, any shit. windows or embrasures on your base how many ores are did you actually manage to get down i mean that's eight like at least you got eight that's better than nothing right look oh, i'm what? gonna put your egg here and honestly god help you because i know I, don't, I know the rust gods won't truthfully truthfully and i am kind of sugarcoating this a little bit there's actually <laughs> doors on the base itself so that's something um, yeah, it's just your compound cool. and your roof are terrible. <laughs> it's all part it's of the plan, yeah? Like, honestly, yeah, the yeah, only yeah, way, yeah. the only way you guys win this is if you're insane at PvP. I mean that. Okay, how are we looking over here? Mmm, this is pretty good. Yeah, that is pretty good, actually. Right, guys, you got one minute and 55 seconds remaining. How do you think you're doing? Pretty good, honestly. Yeah, like you're basically done. Uh -huh. Have you used all the metal? You've used all the HQM? You've done all your deployables, windows? All the can. metal, mostly done. You can have some shotgun traps if you want. How are you doing for auto turrets? Are they nearly powered? You've only got 80 seconds left, guys. Um, I don't know if he's powered them yet, but... Uh, they need to be loaded up. Do you want an extra five minutes? Yeah, if you if you give both of us extra five, yeah, like I'll, give, I'll give you guys an extra five. I'll give you. I mean, you're, okay, yeah, yeah. you're at you're at uh, five minutes and forty seconds as of now. Then I'll yeah. go give the other team another five as well. All right, right. I'm willing to give you an extra five minutes because the other team also oh wants god. more time. So, oh my god! Right, you are know you ready? Funny? Yeah, but can I just say it was one garage door to TC. I'm fully aware. I'm fully aware how shit that was. Yeah. Um, right. It was actually one garage. Oh, have you started? Right, it's starting the timer. Starting the timer. Oh, 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 sorry, sorry. Oh, you're enough. He said, he said, are you ready? I thought he meant go. Yeah, you can go. Uh, Mason, try fixing roof. Guys, you got four and a half minutes. I want to see something. Oh, you got, you got your last four auto turrets. You got all 12 auto turrets placed. Yeah. That's big. I f f whatever you're doing on the roof is not worth your time. Oh, Realistically, so we needed the time more than they did. Like, this five minutes is, like, t I'd say at least five times more valuable for you. Three minutes remaining. Come on. You're this actually is <laughs> starting to look like a base now. This is this is really good. I'm really proud of you guys. Two minutes and 40 seconds. Come on, boys. You got two minutes, oh. guys. Come on. I'll be back. I'll be back real soon. One minute and 54 seconds remaining. Oh, auto turret's done? Uh, almost. Very good news. Very good news. And the base is yep. all finished, yeah? You've used all the metal on HQM. Yep. So it's literally just the auto turrets. Uh-huh. And maybe some doors and stuff that seem to be missing. Doors, mostly got all of them. Yeah, most of them are definitely down. You got one minute, guys. Make sure you power them on as well when you're done. I filled both of them. Uh, are they all... Is everything hooked up? Are all of them are filled? Oh, uh, wait, 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 wait. You might have to... Have you adjusted the values on the branches? Five, four, three, two, one... Stop it and stop it and stop it and stop, 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 stop. Right. The other team runs out in three seconds. I'll be back. Guys. 
That's your time Wait. up. That's your time up. Stop, stop, stop. Whatever you're doing, stop doing it. Are the auto turrets working? Most of them. Um, Did you? Um, oh, you just haven't configured these. You need to set them all to 10. Yeah, yeah. I just got to set Yeah, them you, can, you can do that now. You can do that now. Other than that, though, is everything done on this base, would you say? Yeah. Did you place any shotgun traps? That might be the only thing you didn't do. No, I don't know. Okay, but would you say 45 minutes was not long enough, or do you think you could have made it a bit quicker in hindsight? Um, 45 minutes was good. Do a very quick little look around your base. I've sort of been evaluating it as I've been going along, but obviously we've got the uh, high external wall, furnace walls looking really good here. The uh, like little kick wall area with the peaks at the bottom of the base here is fantastic as well. Gatehouses are decent. I feel like these auto turrets are kind of exposed on top of the gatehouses. Uh, like sometimes people put some like walls around them and then move the... Uh, or turn it forward a little bit more so it's got a bit more coverage but honestly they've got more coverage of the, the compound uh, because there's no walls or anything in the way you have forgotten to do some wire fencing on some of these externals this auto turret isn't on but maybe that's because you haven't adjusted the values for the branch uh, it's good that you didn't forget to do your metal barricades on top of your uh, your gatehouses as well sometimes people forget to do that i love the removable uh, like bunkers on the uh on the external tcs as well that's a really nice touch and you even decided to use some metal on them and honeycomb them a bit that's a smart idea as well the frames and stuff the metal is a fantastic idea the amount of peaks and stuff that you got up here is it's good it's it's very good actually i've seen 4x4s with much more peaks than this um i've also seen 4x4s uh, most 4x4s i've seen have less peaks than this i would say so good level of peaks good to high level of peaks i'd say good variety of different peaks as well and if you go to the very very roof i love that you've got like peaks uh you know through windows and stuff like shooting out like, you've got some really sneaky little angles up here you can get on people uh coming down into the shell a little bit the shells um it, it's okay like i like again the peaks that you've got like down into into directly below you. you've got lots of options for that again of like where you can peek down you got ladder hatches to get in and out of the shell easily i mean there are only one rocket to break through a ladder hatch or two rockets technically because we've got no x ammo on these but it's not a bad shell you've actually put doors all around here to be able to like defend yourselves a little bit easier or oh, it's just being in the corners is not a bad idea as well kind of like a simple 4x4 in some areas and then you've got some extra things that make it a little bit stronger in others the tc being at the bottom here is a good idea and then the way you get to the tc is going through the 2x2 uh, which they'll probably be able to figure out like they'll go through the second floor and work their way down i like these little towers as well where you've put the windmills uh, they're good because not only do they absorb rockets i am a little bit worried about your power being in these actually um i'd say this wasn't a very good idea for like to put the power in these towers it's not a bad base by any means oh, oh gosh no. what do i think of your base guys it's awful. brilliant so uh starting no. from the outside the externals um don't have externals in because we had to move some of them and there's windows and yeah. stuff missing they're kind of janky but also i think these are going to soak rockets because they're going to go like put four rockets on one of your externals through a window thinking they're saving a bunch of loot and time and they're going to see there's no tc in there because they're not going to actually check the double sheet metal door on the front and realize there's no there's no tc in there so some of these externals are kind of pointless but they also might help to soak some rockets that all of them none of them have a tc and do they no literally yeah like this external on the south side you can just see the tc oh yeah and then this one you can really choose it so again externals kind of kind of silly not really gonna help you in any way but who knows right and then we look at the base itself so you did unfortunately forget to put metal barricades on top of your gatehouses so people will be able to sort of just boost in um i'd actually say your peaks aren't crazy good either uh like if no, they are no. getting height so especially if they're trying to get to the roof or whatever with ladders they might be able to literally ladder on the door jump up here jump up onto this conveniently placed little structure that you've put for them here another ladder on here and then another ladder here and then they're on your roof there's no water turrets on the roof either making a top down quite promising but we'll see what the raiders decide to do again metal barricades not in the gatehouse is terrible but these gatehouses are actually fantastic i like that you've raised up uh like with the half wall and stuff the roof pieces so the peaks here from the gatehouse are lovely problem is again no metal barricades compound i it looks like you were thinking about maybe putting a furnace wall down but ended up not doing yeah. it yeah but the auto yep. turrets are in decent positions they're very very awkward to hit i would say like if you put them on top of the gatehouse here they're a little bit more obvious a little bit easier to shoot but because of how low down they are i think it might actually be really difficult to hit them especially if they are laddering up you can't actually see any auto turrets but also you're not going to get shot by any auto turrets the second they dive down 
you know, they realize there's actually eight auto turrets in the compound. Bottom of the base here, obviously some stone frames and stuff, which you don't like to see because they're going to try and collapse your shooting floor, maybe by just blasting through there. But there is a good amount of garage doors. And then we've got like the shell. Actually, before we look at the shell, let's just look at all the peaks and stuff. Some decent compound peaks, not great. You know, some decent compound peaks could help you, especially with the auto turrets as well shooting. It's not bad. Like the compound peaks aren't that bad. And then we move into the base and we've got the first shell. Actually, is that the only shell? That is also the only shell. So we've got your shell here. Again, ladder hatches to get down. Not too bad. Some peaks, not really great. Like no metal embrasures. Horizontal embrasures on these would have been amazing. That almost look like one-way peaks. If you had some horizontal embrasures on these, it'd be really hard to shoot you through. So that's definitely a lapse in judgment or maybe you just forgot to do that. Maybe. But I think we just forgot. That's fair enough. You did run out of time. It was very, very tight. Let's go to the roof now and then we'll look at the shooting floor i mean the roof i don't really know what's going on here maybe some like roof pieces and stuff like coming off you know from these areas might have made it look a little bit more you know maybe yeah. some barricades or something up here like you know the stone barricades you can hide behind just something to give you a little bit of cover because you're super exposed up here and you don't actually i mean you do have some peaks and stuff coming out of these like little corner towers which aren't too bad but there's really not that many peaks up here like I, I could see you guys seriously struggling to use this roof effectively. The shooting floor, however, is a little bit better. You know, you've got some good corner peaks and stuff, and then you can move into these towers. But yeah, I'd actually say the shooting floor is pretty good. Yeah, being able to like go into these towers, yeah, you've got tons of little angles. Yeah, the shooting floors are definitely way better, and you've got relatively easy access to the floor below where you've got more shooting floor areas. However, you guys have forgot to put metal barricades here as well, and oh, on this side entirely. Maybe, yeah, maybe it's not every side. If the raiders clock on that some of your sides, like you've forgotten to put metal barricades on like this sort of third of the base on that floor, but you haven't forgotten on the other two sides. So maybe they won't realize. Looking at the dead middle of the base here, you got lots of strength and windows and stuff to make it a little bit harder for them to uh, get around your base. Maybe you're going to have some bedrooms and stuff in these little areas. Who knows? Down into the like, core area here. This might be useful. This might not be. And then it's just the way down to the middle where the TC is now interestingly you've put access to the core at the bottom and at the top but well, the only reason i say that is you could have completely sealed off the roof the bottom or at yeah. the bottom yeah so that there's only one way into the core otherwise they have to go through hqm but as it stands they might be able to save some rockets by not even having to blast hqm they might be able to go through doors because if they go through the bottom they'll just find the door and blast through that. It's cheaper than going through yeah. HQM. Whereas if this was just a HQM wall and you had the access point higher up, which you already have, that'd make it way more expensive for them because they literally either have to go through the wall or raid up just to come down again. It's got some good bits. It's got some bad bits. Shall we get the uh, the other Americans over here? Oh, sorry, the other Americans? The Americans over here. And we'll sort of see what they think of the base here. Yeah, I want to see how impressed they are. Guys, give me your honest opinion of the base. I mean, you could be nice. You could be no, nice. No, 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 no. You don't have to be nice. So, this is just terrible. I mean, <laughs> maybe maybe if I had a blindfold on, I'd build this. I don't know. <laughs> if, I, if I lost in this base and I was a raider, I'd quit the game. <laughs> but, uh, All right, we'll make four people quit the game then. Uh, you're you're not winning in this, buddy. You're not. You're getting your turret speared out. Americans, what would you rate this out of ten? Uh, okay. Two, three, I'll take that. I'll oh, probably like a two. Like a two. A two. I, I'd be a little bit more generous personally. I'd give it like a four, maybe three and a half. It's honestly. If you hadn't forgot some of the embrasures and the compound had been finished, like the the metal the metal uh, Barricade. barricades, and you did put the rest of your horizontal embrasures on, I'd maybe go for like a five at best. In its current state, it's not great. The roof needs a lot more work. This could maybe be a six out of ten base at most if the roof was done as well. So yeah, I'll go for like a three and a half. You're going for a two. So um, not great. Shall we go and look at the American base? Uh, yeah. yeah. Well, um, much better. Well, it's a 4 by 4 I reckon I could do this with my eyes closed. Personally. <laughs> Not after what you just built, you can't say that. <laughs> yeah, seeing what you just built, I don't know. Oh! You've not connected. Yeah. You put, yeah, for some reason, you put them to root combiners, not branches. I had to. <laughs> I had to because it was two. There's, two there's a good chance as well they'll get rocketed out. Sorry, it's a huge, so... Yeah, you guys, got, you guys have got like four offline and then eight online then, but all 12 are placed. Definitely, that definitely does weaken it, I think. It gives us a chance, and I'm grateful. 
as a chance. Your beast just looks very lanky. I'm going to be honest. Wait, we're not, we're not losing. We're not losing. You probably... No, you are. You are. It definitely does affect you, those turrets being offline, I think. But it might not be the biggest of deals. We'll have to wait and see, really, won't we? Maybe the raiders will be worried that you're going to turn them on during the raid and they'll end up destroying them anyway. That would have been such a good idea. It isn't that a genius idea, having a smart switch yeah. to turn on a turret? Yeah. Okay, so look. English guys, what do you think of the base then in general? Better than yours? Yeah, yeah definitely better than ours. I'd say yeah. about a 7. You'd say a 7 out of yeah. 10? Yeah. yeah. Maybe it's been like the world's best base. Would it have been like a 7.5 or an 8 if all the auto turrets were online? Yeah, if all the turrets were yeah, online. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, because that I is the that. only thing that they haven't done really, isn't it? Yeah. So you'd give it a 7? You happy with that, both of you? Yeah, yeah I'm that. I actually was thinking something quite similar. I, I was going to go 6.5, maybe a 7. I think I might go for a 7 as well. I, I think it's good. I think the uh, I think the, the compound peaks are good. I think the roof peaks are good. I think they could be a little, little bit better. I personally don't love the roof in general. I think the roof peaks are very weak, but the shooting floor yeah. is fantastic. Uh, the shooting floor, I can't knock that. The shooting floor is great. Yeah, I do um, But yeah, again, the peaks could be a little bit better. And uh, I, think, I think it's a strong base. I think it's one of the better 4x4s that I've seen. Uh, like compared to a lot of 4x4s, they're just, they're just they're all exactly the same. So this is like definitely improved on, on the standard. <laughs> um, right. So now that the bases are done, it's time to unleash the Raiders. I'm going to be giving the Raiders 55 rockets and 30 high velocity ones for the UK base and 90 rockets with 30 high velocity ones for the USA base. Last time the USA got raided first, so this time the UK is going to get started. The Raiders will have 45 minutes to retrieve the golden egg from each base in order to win. And just as a quick side note here, I do normally give both teams one hour to build but in recent videos i've had quite a lot of people finish around the 40 minute mark so i figured i'm gonna test these guys with their building skills but i'm glad i gave them the extra five minutes so that things were a bit closer to being finished men platypuses we are gathered here today in order to take on a raid but not just any raid a max Mears event raid now i understand that they may say that we're bad they may say that we are weak but what they do not know is that we have the strats. We have the ingeniouses in order to be the best like no one ever was. We have Phineas. We have Ferb. We have the idiot Heinz Doofenshmirtz. We can do this. I know we can. <laughs> we are going to win this raid. We will be victorious. And no matter what, by the end, we will get the golden <laughs> The golden victory! victory. <laughs> Are you ready? Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. All right, guys. Absolutely. Good luck. Get scouting. What uh, in the hell uh, is this? What the? F they have no peaks. We could fob right here. Uh, if but we then, just but then the it, issue is getting over here. They're not external TCs. They're all connected to the main TC. It looks like because I don't see any external. Actually, in there. those aren't real externals. There's no TC yeah. in there. We need we need to come at this from an angle because you see how like towards their TC they have more peaks, but to the side they have less. No, no, they have no, more peaks because by the time we start blowing, it's all gonna open up. I feel like our best fob location is gonna be right here. Is the only not because the road, the road. We're not gonna be able yeah. to cargo fob. I have faith. Okay, I want you to be shaking with adrenaline during this, all right? Good luck, boys. Y'all just yeah. Yeah. Hey, yeah. Uh, Doofus Merch, you want to you skin your shit to green out real quick so they don't Jesus see Christ, right? guys. No, <laughs> no, let's fine. Are we no, going no, on that? Go. Three, two, one, go. Time has begun, good luck. Okay, y'all go, go, go towards the base. Y'all go up on the hill. Yeah, yeah you guys just distract them. Don't die. Yes. That's your yeah. only goal. Do not die. Do not die. It doesn't matter if you kill them or not, just don't die. Okay, so we got two of the raiders sneaking off to the right side, two of the raiders getting a more frontal approach. Now, the plan is, these guys have been chatting a lot, by the way, you got a real serious plan. The plan is that two guys are going to spread and push, and the other two guys are going to be holding from the hill. Now, whether the raiders are going to clock onto this, whether the defenders are going to clock onto this very quickly, realize what's going on, and, you know, make sure that that doesn't happen is a completely different question. But Ferb immediately goes down from the M249 spray. Perry the Platypus is going to get him up immediately. So if that's Ferb and Perry, that means over here we've got Phineas and Doofenshmirtz. Phineas and Doofenshmirtz pushing up the water. I think they have 
been noticed they have been noticed the ball way back and forth is going we're gonna go ahead and turn on radar right now because i want to start seeing the health of all these people fit jeremy on the roof there has been hit once burb is obviously still healing trying to get a couple of shots on the defenders there looks unsuccessful so far a lot of barricades being used here but a lot of ground being claimed doofenshmirtz and phineas both on 70 health right now burbs doesn't fully heal doofenshmirtz gets hit he gets hit oh gets hit only once there somehow and manages to bolt lemon and then manages to bolt jeremy straight after the l9 hits phineas though but jeremy may have just gone down they're getting sandwiched they're getting shot from two different angles at the same time i wonder what the defenders are thinking of this strategy right now let's go and listen to them in just a moment as they get phineas down easy kill but they haven't finished him they finish him what's your opinion so far mine hey you guys yeah. are the ones that meant to be telling me your opinion so far well i'm shitting myself i don't know how many bags he's got down but i've just put him on timer three times oh i ran out of ammo the defenders are absolutely ruining the raiders right now they're killing him from all directions but the raiders put down plenty of bags phineas is already making his way back over for the third time Maybe he'll make it over this time. Doofenshmirtz getting a base down right there. Phineas might be going down here. Ferb's already down. They're respawning on their sleeping bags immediately. Grabbing up their kits. Three minutes into the raid. Zero serious progress has been made. But the raid base has started to go down. And that... That's a big step. I'm surprised Ferb didn't die there, to be fair. Very, very surprised. Barry, Phineas, and Ferb all over there. Doofenshmirtz getting his... I might ask Raiders to theme their names in future. Because this is... This is fantastic. I love this. I'm dead, yeah. Just get beds. If you can bed me, I can just... I think one's coming out to me. No, that was me. I was trying to get you out of here. Just, just try and get beds down. We got this, boys. We just gotta, we gotta start getting some stuff done or else we're gonna run out of time. We gotta, we really gotta get some more yeah. pressure going on. Four and a half minutes, guys. Still. It feels like a longer. <laughs> uh, one's at raid base. I'm dead. Did you, did, did you shield base or did base? they just... Did it, it, they just there's a door down, but... Do they take control? If make sure, hey boys, everybody hold raid base. Make sure they don't get away with mats. Yeah. They get he's, away with mats. He, is, he is at raid base. He's at raid base. You're only killing. I'm he holding raid. Man, if the defenders get away with this, I don't know how much he's got on him, but he's got a launcher, and the raiders only have a finite amount of launchers. I believe we only gave them three for this base. We gave them five for the other. They're not letting him get away easily, but it always oh, he gets headshot. He gets body here. He goes down. Jeremy downed with who knows how many goodies on him. Let's listen to the defenders. They finally hit me. Should I push out air kick it for that body? One of the raiders has respawned and he's grabbing all the goodies. He grabbed a barricade immediately placing that. Got the launcher and everything else. There's at least two HQM kits just laying next to this raid base. He goes down. Oh, they're going to be thinking about pushing out here. Dr. Doofenshmirtz at the bottom there, holding the gatehouse. Older than know about each other. The back and forth, Doofenshmirtz goes down. Jeremy on half health only. Perry and Ferb keeping an eye. Phineas goes down again. Still, gear sets here that need to be claimed and looted and moved. Doofenshmirtz moving around, grabbing all the goodies still. This is a rough raid so far. Raid is not doing very well. For time, really, this base needs a lot more production, a lot more finishing. With 20,000 hours, I'm surprised that these guys aren't doing a little bit better. Maybe the defenders are just that good. Maybe the Brits are just carrying the raid with their pure skill. I mean, there's a lot of like windows and stuff on the base, but it's a bit deceiving because a lot of these windows aren't in very easy to get to places and they're a little bit of a pain to use. Jeremy is over there. He has grabbed the rockets and things. He's making a runner. He might be able to get away. The M249 spraying at Perry and Ferb over there. Oh, he's away. He's away. He's done it. 33.3% over the Raiders' rocket launchers. And not a bad percentage. What, 12 to 13% of their rockets? Good play by the defenders there. Very brave to push out, especially so far from base. This base, honestly, could have been put like like here realistically i'm surprised they didn't put it a lot closer like it's so far away barry getting killed over there yeah again ferb on the hill there just trying to get an angle with his bolty but every time he peeks he just gets killed lemon holding the m2 have an absolutely fantastic time again just spraying at ferb ferb is 10 hp he's downed i mean just look at these angles like he's kind of exposed here but the peaks they're working for them bear in mind we gave the space a what? What rating did we give this? I said a, a 3 or a 3.5, I think I said. And then the other guys gave it a 2. He's laughing at us. Yeah, I know. My game I'm not crash, laughing. You know, I'm, I'm just we're, listening. We're, we're, oh, no. You, you 
You sound like you're chuckling a good bit. He's holding you're having me a good, hard. You're having a good time, Max. I'm having a great. I just come in because I like to listen to the comms because I incorporate it into the Fair. video. Yeah, my game crashed, so I'm gonna be in. It's gonna take me a second. Oh no, man oh, yeah, down. So we're, yeah. we're lost, Phineas. <laughs> yep. And I'm builder too, so it's gonna be even worse. Oh, uh, don't worry about that, mate. Building's getting made. done. Oh, is it for real? It, it, may, it may not be getting done right, but it's it's something. It's working. All right. It's, all right. it's, something. it's something. All right. <laughs> it is something. See here. Oh, it's <laughs> I'm worried now. I'm worried. <laughs> it's because I don't understand what you're doing over here. What the hell is this? Okay. Okay. Listen. Okay. <laughs> I, don't you, I'm don't you have the highest hours? That's yes, I, I do, but through. I don't build the raid bases. I'm usually the one holding raids. Okay, I'm so confused on what the hell's going on. I mean, their peaks are good. I'm gonna give you that. Their peaks are. It's a. It's a funky looking base, but the peaks are good. You're really high hour. I'll tell you that. I'm I gonna feel cry like it could. End, I feel okay. it could be UK. Could be UK. No way. Feels so easy. Are they gonna shoot a rocket? I mean, you guys are playing like seven rockets, right? Yeah, seven or six. I can't remember. What? What's this plan? I mean, I feel like I'm missing. One dead on fob. Nice. Do I push that? Bottom yeah, big wooden walls still. Yeah, I'm gonna. Can you hold that body to let? Is he alive or no? No, he's dead. He's dead. You need to go though. He'll, yeah, be, he'll be on timer right now. One's in water. Yeah, one's in water. Where are they, man? I'm scared. It's the bags that he's hearing, but he doesn't realize it. Am I just sat here listening to dead. dead bodies like an idiot? Yeah, it's the backpacks. They make a noise yeah. when they're floating. I feel like we need a shit base. Don't get me wrong. But I think he picked some bad raiders here. Full, full kit at 30, dead. These raiders have 20,000 hours, mate. If you take a moment, we need to come back. We need to all take a deep Free breath. Just shoot. Yeah. And shoot this. from the shoot from the hill. The raiders are asking if you're not trying for the first 15 minutes. Yeah, so... Yeah, like, no, we're not going to talk about it. It's, <laughs> uh, uh, it's a little bit fucked. Because uh, we're, we're, we're getting fucked here. It's uh, very simple. It's pretty rough. At least you've still got HQM kits and stuff, boys. It's not over. Oh, yeah. And you've not even I'm used not any of your rockets, right? Yeah, no, no, no. Yeah. But it's just we're, we're having a hard just time. Okay, but we're just having a harder time pushing out. Yeah, because on the videos, it looks easy as shit. The other guys are like, oh, they're all dead. Let's go. It's like, fuck. <laughs> what? So, Jeremy, one of the defenders, is now flanking yet again from behind over here. The Raiders are... So, one of them DC'd. He's been gone offline for like five, six minutes. He... It was, it's annoying, but this sort of stuff happens, unfortunately. Sometimes it even happens to me. I've had to pause a raid before. M249 beam, Ferb and Doofenshmirtz and all that up on the hill there. M249 does manage to get Doofenshmirtz. Ferb is crouching up. Oh, the spray, the spray. This nearly gets him. He's very, very close. Must be hiding perfectly behind a hill there. Perry is moving down. Jeremy is just out here, dancing outside the base. Does he get hit? Ferb gets hit, but not down. He's got the bolty. The M249 is just spraying at them. I mean, that M2 must be getting heavily damaged. Phineas is inside here. I'm, are they all bagged in here? I don't, yeah, all four of them are bagged in here. They must have at least some loot in here. Jeremy's just outside. Jeremy's crouching along the bottom here. Ferb up there, just coming down with a barricade. That's, he's got the other bolty actually on him. MP5 being shot at the base. Lemon on half health there by the looks of things. 61 health, he's healing up. Jeremy Crouch, no, oh, this is going to be instantaneous and brutal. There's, oh, there's another, there's a boy right there on the ground. Does he not notice that? Oh, he goes down. Yeah, he didn't see that boy. That was from earlier when he died. Jeremy gets beamed, though. AK bodied straight away by Ferb and naked with five health. Who's found a bolt on the ground somewhere. Phineas starting to move up there. Maybe plan to get an auto turret or something down. Still moving up slowly. Jeremy gets killed by Ferb yet again. Oh, he has managed to reclaim one of the full kits that was laying there. Fair play to him. There's a lot of gear laying around. While the defenders have managed to claim some of the raiders gear, and they've been quite successful at pushing out in general, they've actually really not claimed that much in the grand scheme of things. And the first rocket does fly and it does hit not what i expected maybe it was unintentional maybe they wanted it to go a bit higher yeah and that one he just panicked shot unfortunately so two walk two rockets kind of wasted at this point but they are looking to either hit the gatehouse i'm not sure what he's aiming to hit frankly because they want to kind of be hit in this area <laughs> this general area right here and we did calculate this to be 55 rockets I think if they keep aiming like this, it's going to be a little bit more expensive. This is a lovely little build-up, though. Lovely little platform to shoot from. Some nice little doorways and stuff on here. This is a good idea. I'm glad they're starting to get an actual serious raid area down. 
They have, however, used just over, and I'm talking 10 seconds over, half of their total time right now. So things are not looking particularly promising for the Raiders, but this is about as organized as they've seemed so far. And I want to hear the defenders POV now as they instantly beam Doofenshmirtz, who may have actually had a launcher on him. I didn't quite see. Oh, bro, I'm such an idiot. I forgot where I put the rockets. One dead. Oh, I've hit him twice. I got another rocket. Let's go. Verb has almost gone down at the back there. Phineas is right here. He's managed to pull out. I don't know if the Raiders have lost another launcher or not there, but I'm getting a little bit worried for them. They are all alive. Ferb is just trying to get away from his barricades. He just gets M2 beamed every time he's peeking that. It's very unsafe for him, but he's also peeking very slowly there. Jeremy holding in the compound. Lemon holding on the roof. And the Phineas, Ferb, Doofenshmirtz, and Barry the Platypus, Quadru, Quadro, Quadro? Quaddo, they're having a bit of a difficult time here. They, I, they really are. I, I feel for them because some, sometimes when I'm watching things like this and it, you know, it, it's not, I'm not going to say it's hard to watch. I just feel bad for the Raiders because I know that this isn't necessarily them showing their best. And more often than not, the second raids are a lot more successful. Perry the Platypus getting hit there. Doofenshmirtz making a run just through the open there. Just gets shot. Lemon gets headshot, maybe even headshot bodied, I think that was. Very, very... Or maybe it was a headshot from Ferb if he has a Boltwee back there. Phineas dies there, but he's completely naked. Jeremy just holding here, trying to get a hit on Platypus, but gets hit himself. He's re-walling. He's placing it. He's placing... He's pl is he? No, 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 no. He's decided not to. I don't think he's able to place this one for some... Oh, it's the stone. Yeah, once that disappears, he'll be able to place that. I have all the Hazzy MP kits on me right now. I should be able to get to the base. As long as I don't die right here, I should get there. Yeah, I think That's he's fine. Let him seal. Let him seal. Yeah, he managed to. That's fine. We can just fucking found you up the external and they can't reseal it. All right, perfect. I'm here. I'm here. I got all the uh, MP5 kits on me. Yeah, perfect. Yeah, We're actually making progression no now. Uh, Max, how much time do we have left? You guys have 17 minutes and 25 seconds remaining. Yeah, we need Thank to you. fucking get going. Start pummeling. Right, where's... Two, two launchers. Perfect. We got a shit ton of rockets. Just drill to core. The Raiders are just, they're just trying. They're trying so hard as well. And they're, they're just, a lot of their, like, they've got no real cover to hide behind to make this run. You, you almost want to run all the way around or something, but... Maybe fobbing there just was not a good idea. Like, they probably could have even fobbed somewhere here, maybe. I don't know. Like, this might have been a way better place to fob. Maybe a little bit more difficult to build here, because of just... The, uh, and I don't know. It's a lovely spot here. And that would have been perfect. Oh, damn. That base looks beautiful at this angle. When the sun hits it just right, you know. And the rockets are now flying. And it's good to see. There's HKM kits just laying here. I don't know. Oh, do they know? Does he know he's there? Oh, different trust nearly gets away, but gets down. Jeremy pushing up to claim yet another Raider gear set. Now, there's probably no gun or anything there because they already looted it earlier. But there is another kit on the back corner here that does have a gun and ammo and everything else. The raid base is still being produced. Ferb goes down inside the raid base yet again to the M2. There's a Raider right here, just stood in the open. Amazing. Phenomenal, honestly. Just don't peek it. Don't peek it. Don't peek it. Don't worry about it. We need a rocket or we're going to lose. I'll start yeah. sealing up. So, oh, yeah, he's, he's right there. Watch out. Watch your back. Watch your back. Uh, he's really hit. He's hard. I walled. I walled. I think, uh, I think he's down. I think oh. he's down. The Fortnite wall down Jeremy. Jeremy might get up if he's lucky. We'll have to wait and see. I do think they were eating food a minute ago, so might have a 50 50 chance of getting up. They've just, I just keep hearing them saying, like, we've just got a rocket, you know, we've just got a rocket, we've just got a hit. Why they're not hitting the shooting floor, I don't know. Jesus, Perry just gets absolutely doubled there. And rockets are still flying out of the base. Yeah, why they're not just slamming into here? I don't, I really don't know. They've got ladders and things like. They just, need to sl they just need to slam this base. I mean, at least they're using the rockets. Ferb does get down there almost as he gets to the base. Phineas getting tagged up a little bit. Lemon on the roof there. Jeremy still downed over there. Dies, finally. The Raiders are sort of grouping up and pushing. Doofenshmirtz is close. The auto turrets haven't even become a problem yet. There's no fire from the auto turrets whatsoever. Lemon holding on the roof. He knows Doofenshmirtz is down there. He's trying to get an angle on him. He's going to rocket him, I think. Oh, it's a dangerous place to stand with the M2. He could die and lose the M2. Doofenshmirtz, 3 HP after the HP hits him. I can't believe Lemon isn't dead. He's just stood up here completely exposed. Kill him, please. They lose the M2 and they might immediately lose the raid defense after. Jeremy able to get back to his body over there, re-kitting and re-gearing. He's going to be another problem in a second that the raiders are going to have to worry about. A bit of AK spray from Doofenshmirtz, but he gets immediately beaten by Jeremy. Jeremy 
all the bullets are missing him by like a millimeter, I swear. Doofenshmirtz spraying at him again, only tags him twice there. Trying to work his way around to the back of the raid base. Ferb gets hit from Lemon inside the base again. And I just don't know. I don't know what the raiders can do here. I, 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 I don't... They got 12 minutes remaining. And I'm a little bit worried about them. Ferry the Platypus nearly goes down. Doofenshmirtz getting sprayed out a lot over there as well. Lemon gets tagged twice on the roof. I just think the Raiders don't have particularly good aim. The Doofenshmirtz goes down. Lemon should have died 20 times over at this point. Like, he's he keeps exposing himself so heavily. I'll, I'll open, I'll open, I'll open. I need somebody to push uh, Y'all, whoever's in raid base? Oh, uh, there's a guy in it. I'm down. Here, I'm picking you, I'm picking you. I need some meds. Don't I'm have any left. Uh, I, I got three on ground. That's all. That's that all base. Holy he's, he's right yeah, out back right. at the raid base, by the way. All right, that's fine. Let it be. The Raiders are just getting destroyed by these defenders. Why that auto turret is not shooting, I don't understand at this point. Jeremy managed to get a warp. It's got like a little window on it. Phineas gets killed over there. Phineas is dead. Auto turret finally decides to do something. Jeremy gets away. No problem. Doofenshmirtz is dead. Everyone has died. And that might be it, honestly. Like that might oh no, Phineas has respawned in here. I mean, I don't know why Jeremy's still alive. Like they need they need to get rid of him, like desperately. Phineas might be the only one who can even do it, to be honest. The rockets are starting to damage the base as well, but it's just it's just not enough. It's like it feels like a bit too little too late, honestly. Phineas gets beamed again, peeking from the same door twice. He's about to go down. One HP. He's reloading the launcher. Zero HP. He's downed. Doofenshmirtz and Ferb on the roof there. Just both get killed by the M2. The same spray. Just murders both of them as if it's nothing. <laughs> the Raiders having a little bit of trouble here. Just jumping up. Jeremy tries to go around the side. But isn't able to. This wall being placed is actually a very good idea. It means Jeremy can't actually push in through the side here. I wonder if they're going to do anything about him. Like, Lemon's just waiting. Like He's literally just holding with the M2. He's got the laser sight, he's got everything. The door opens, immediately starts spraying in. Jeremy's also holding there, and he re-peaks it. Jeez, Jeremy nearly goes down to Doofenshmirtz. Two of the Raiders dead again, instantly. Harry the Platypus, last one alive in here. Ferb dead on the roof, I don't even know how he died. He must have got beamed earlier. And Phineas running over, it's just, it's, just, it's just constant. And the worst thing is, the worst thing about this raid is the Raiders actually still have loads of rockets and gear sets. They got tons. They just haven't been able to use it. Phineas tries grabbing something, just gets one tapped. But there's just so many gear sets. Like they've got plenty of MP5 kits still, they've got plenty of regular kits still. They, you know, you need to shoot a rocket out of here, shoot a rocket out of here, shoot a rocket out of here, shoot a hit, another one here again. You gotta keep rotating all these different windows when you're shooting rockets. I feel like they're not necessarily doing that, but also it's just, I mean, you got an M2. Like you sat here with an M2, no one's firing at you. I mean, even just rocket him, honestly, at this point. Like, if they were at this point, 10 minutes into the raid, I would think that they're going to be successful, no questions asked. But because of, like, how many rockets they've lost and used at this point, it's it's kind of rough, honestly. It's kind of rough. Doofenshmirtz nearly gets beamed. Ferb is dead on the roof yet again. Another rocket hits the front of this base, and it completely collapses. Another rocket comes flying in. Oh, doesn't kill anyone. Oh no, the raid base, the raid base is going. The rocket's going in both directions. They're actually, this is as close to the TC as they've ever been. Another rocket comes flying in here. Very well placed rocket. To be fair, they damage this a little bit more. This front bit might start to collapse, who knows? Just shooting rockets directly at the base, damaging whatever they can find. Doofenshmirtz looking to make a bit of a push here. Jeremy holding in the compound. He's not quite in there. Oh no, there he is. Did they see each other? Oh, Doofenshmirtz nearly gets down. M249 still shooting a pair of the platypus and everyone else over there. Lemon is on less than half, though. He's healing. Phineas goes down, but isn't dead. Doofenshmirtz might be able to get him up here. Ferb getting shot at as he's on the roof there. Let's look at this from the POV of the defenders. Lemon is just always finding a new angle. Meanwhile, the base is getting sealed up here. Doors are getting put back on. They haven't used any materials, I don't think, to seal the base. Oh, they're using the metal to seal. Doofenshmirtz just gets doubled there. Another rocket comes flying in. Destroys the front of the base again. M249 kills Ferb. Phineas looking to push in. The base is sealed completely almost. Jeremy nearly dies. The HV rocket. Another HV rocket there. He's trying to hit the auto turret. Does he hit the auto turret? I don't know. 
I'm not sure, but he's rocketing something. Another HP goes in. Jeremy doesn't get affected by that one, though. Three minutes and 50 seconds left of this raid. Let's listen to the defenders. One dead. Hazmat. North. In comp... Uh, right, literally on the edge of the compound. Where them two full metal bodies are. Oh. Bro, go away. Oh man, the Raiders not having a good time. Let's go ahead and listen to him. Um, I'm gonna chuck ladders. Do we still need ladders? I have. Yeah, we do. There's three okay. minutes remaining, guys. Oh, oh so yeah, it's definitely over. <laughs> it was fun, boy. Yeah, I would say uh, cold yeah. air, Max. It was fun. The M2 has got like a third of its health left. <laughs> That's yeah, how much he used it. <laughs> Jeez, uh, his his armor's pretty cacked as well. Both his helmet and chest piece are both on the third as well. So you guys were hitting him a bit. I feel like so from my point of view, right? I feel mm -hmm. like you guys were just a little bit disorganized. You lost some gear early on, including a bolty, which made it really hard for you to actually kill them inside the base. Uh, because, you know, they're holding all these sneaky little angles with M2s and L9s and stuff. And then they had bolties to shoot against you. So, like, it was even more... It's not like you just lost it. Like, they gained it, and that made it even harder to actually fight with them. So that was kind of from my POV. Like, I don't think you guys suck necessarily, but... You guys were really struggling to hit them. The team dynamic kind of sucked. To be the team honest, dynamic. So, so what, yeah, what do you guys think the problem was there? Uh, me. Um, <laughs> I, was, we, I, yeah, we I feel like I was trying to disorganize everybody. Yeah, we were. We were just didn't have a set team leader. Like me and Ron were kind of arguing, not arguing, but like we had a disagreement on who was going to be team leader before. Mm -hmm. So uh, it just and, and pushing up. Honestly, he wasn't. He was a good team leader and shit. It just. Pushing up was a pain in the ass because the M2 was like on her butt the whole time. I actually do have something to add about that as well. Why did you guys decide to fall there? Like, it feels like a massive um, amount. Like, look, just like if you look at where I am, like, I'm floating around over here. Um, like, you've got no cover moving all the way over to the raid base through here. Hmm. Why, why don't you it's, just come down and like fob here or something? It's like, almost road. like somebody said that. Like, it's, it's almost it's, like somebody said that, I but mean, everybody I, else it, was like, oh no, we need to come over here. I mean, it's well, literally, well, we like, didn't, this is, this is didn't. just as close as well. And it's, well, it's the same our original, size. Our original not, plan was to fob into them, so yeah. the road would have made that impossible. Yeah, but that we, we just didn't, didn't have. We rocket. weren't really able to do it anyway, so. So you were one garage door, well, two garage doors and one HKM wall away. So, uh, and, and maybe two more. So four garage doors. That's twelve rockets. So you were about thirty rockets away, even at the end there. I'm assuming you're out of rockets, more or less. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. Because I was, it was like I was just yeah. trying to, I was trying to rocket because no one else could really push up to me because they were holding so well and we didn't have enough bags like placed. What do you think of the base then? Like obviously, you know, <laughs> you, might, you might think no, it's no, better. I know, yeah. I know we lost, but the base is shit. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah. It's so bad, but yeah, I, it, but... it was. It, it was bad, the PVP it skill that carried oh, oh. at very little. Bit. The PVP definitely carried, in my opinion. You know what? Honestly, I'm, I would say I would say the base isn't horrible. The base is average, you'd say. Yeah. yeah. I, okay. I would I would give it a four out of ten. Yeah, I'd give it a four. Can That's I all. please yeah. have a DB? <laughs> can I please have one DB? You can have a DB <laughs> if you win. I'm not giving you a DB after that performance. So guys, if you, will, you, will you give us all a DB skin of the Max Mirrors if we win? I wish I could. Guys, are you ready to go and scout the second base? What you assume yes, is now sir. the American. Guys, let's go and have a look at it, shall we? Dude, they're kind of doing us a favor. We can build a fob up on the cliff. Yeah, yeah. that's true. That'd be perfect. We're actually we on them. Yeah. yeah, let's do that. Well, dog, this is just a basic as four by four. I mean, yeah, it is. literally all well, the. I can, I can definitely see right it's just now a they boy, have yeah. a lot of compound peaks. So we're gonna go up on the hill, set up a little fob so we can hold them because we can hold their top roof easily. So we're gonna set up raid base up there, and then we're not gonna bring rockets. We're just gonna get them. We're gonna drain their meds and their kits first, and then after we kind of keep them, like put them on timer, hopefully. Then we're gonna push over with rockets. We're gonna have a guy push over with rockets while the other one are holding. And then we're going to just try and pummel from up on the hill. Time has begun. Right, so already the Raiders are starting to push in. I feel like they might be a little bit more organized this time. Maybe this is a general theme for my videos. Maybe Raiders get more organized as you go on. Raiders already starting to bolt the defenders. We're going to do the same thing we did last time. We're going to immediately just get radar on. And let's see what's going on here. So we've got Ferb, Doofenshmirtz, and Perry, and Phineas all pushing along the ridge line here. Looks like Kobe did get tagged once or twice. Caesar also gets hit by the Boltie. Raid base going down immediately. Kobe and Julius not seeing it yet. Ferb 
does get lit up. He's on 3 HP, 2 HP, 17. He's medding finally. Phineas speed building. One hell of a fob here. Holy crap, there's going to be a wide one. The L9 is making it a bit difficult for the other three guys to do something, but completely distracting them. From the absolutely massive fob going down, Kobe has already died. I didn't even notice that. It must have been him running back when he was on 50 health. Julius Caesar's down. The Bolties, the Bolties are not making things easy for the defenders. And holy crap, what a different start to the raid. A terrible start it was to the last raid. If this is what this team is capable of. These aren't paid actors, guys. I genuinely didn't tell them. Hey, make sure you win the second raid and intentionally fail the first one or anything. The raiders are doing a very good job of getting their raid base down this time. They've got lovely little tiny peaks and things here. They got bullies, they got AKs. They're holding all the angles. Oh, Caesar goes down. Triple bolted there. Fair play. They're trying to shoot his feet, but it's not working. And I'm expecting rockets to start flying real soon if the Raiders are holding the defenders down this well. This base is huge, but they do have 90 rockets to play with. We're going to give them 100. I will. Kobe just gets doubled. Damn. Fair pushing down. Getting ready to build a second raid base, potentially. Just a small area that they can shoot from. And obviously, they're going to have cover from up here, which is a monster of a raid base. How many materials are we giving these guys? Like, for reals. I didn't think they'd be able to build a second raid base after putting that down. Ferb is doing some things. He's just trying to get a U wall down. Doofenshmirtz does get beamed on the roof there by the M2. First kill by the defenders against the raiders. The wall is going down. Ferb, I'm not quite sure what his plan is. He's holding an angle of some kind. Is he looking for him in there? He's pretty safe for the moment, isn't he? It's not a bad spot. Let's go ahead and listen to the Raiders. Yeah, exactly. This is going a lot smoother than the last time. Let's do this. Yes, it is. <laughs> uh, Max, uh, before we start raiding, do you mind saying uh, the catchphrase? Hey, Ferb, I know what we're going to do today. Hold up. Ow. I know, I'm dead. Never mind, they're horrible. Okay, what are they doing? The good peaks on this base are starting to rear their heads. These little corners and specifically the pixel gap there. Is, I mean, look at that. Look at that. I just had a headshot crunch. Ferb on 4 HP there, 3 HP. Healing back up now. I mean, that what an angle. I mean, this base has got some fantastic angles on it. Not quite 20% of the raid time, but like 18% of the raid time. That raid time is disappearing very quickly. You know, 45 minutes to raid a base. You're not getting countered. You know, you gotta, you got to keep a bit of pace. But you got a bit of time to play with. So maybe getting organized and set up is exactly what they wanted. And I'm kind of just... Unsure the L9 hit. Wow, that put fair blow. He's trying to hit me as I'm trying to run away. Oh, I'm, I'm out of my head, son. Julius hasn't realized he's bleeding to death. He's 1 HP. He's 0 HP. He's about to go down. There he goes. AK drops, but it should be fine. I think they may have just noticed. Yeah, they have. They've just noticed where the pixel gap is. But you, as you can see, it's nigh impossible to shoot in there. He's not even been tagged yet. And he's just finished off Phineas, who was trying to AK him a little bit. The other three Raiders are still perfectly fine. The other defender, Julius, has just respawned. He's going to grab his own kit again. Let's keep listening to the defenders here. Actually, no, let's listen to the Raiders. I think they're about to do something big. I'll step here. Everyone get on a thing. And then whenever I say, I need y'all to follow my rocket, okay? Okay, the pummel's about to begin. They're all getting ready. Let's go ahead and listen to the defenders POV. Because I want to hear their reaction to three dudes spraying rockets at your base. We have a body trap and we already got one of their turrets down. Oh, he's rocketing. They're racking from the doors. That shot one. They're try they're trying to collapse. The rockets are flying. The defenders are really kind of uh they're, they're trying to do some defending here. They're definitely they got one kill, they nearly killed Perry as well, but they seem very relaxed about the fact that there's now been like like 12 rockets fired directly at their base soon to be 15 18 21 and this all oh, this shooting floor is going to collapse this whole shooting floor is going to absolutely disintegrate in a second they're going to have zero peaks to use from there julius caesar might die to that rocket at 5 hp oh very 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 low and they're actually starting to pummel the shell they are getting hit quite heavily by the m2 and the l9 but once they get through this shell area you know it's one more like, layer, realistically. One more layer after that. Um, wow, I mean, they're very close right now. They just need to keep following that same rocket path and also damage the walls or the gatehouse out here so that they can actually push in when they need to. 
Them not being able to push in is going to make all of those rockets kind of completely pointless and wasted. Now, two of them are still alive. One of them is running back from the raid base. I'm assuming he didn't have a bed. M249 kills Perry the Platypus there. And only Phineas is still alive. He's the last one with rockets. Everyone else is dead. A decent chunk of their base comes off there. This is going kind of well for the raiders, kind of well for the defenders. Defenders are, again, very relaxed about this whole situation. Only one rocket are still firing in Shemel Door down there. And Phineas might get m 2 in just a second. Let's see if Kobe's able to get him. As Phineas creeps up there. Oh, he didn't see. He didn't guess. He didn't guess which doorway it would be. He's going to hold that doorway again. All Phineas has to do is keep go using different doorways. More rockets just getting fired straight at this space. This space is not going to last long. This space is not going to last long if they keep doing that. More Julius Caesar drops down. Perry gets hit up there. Phineas also gets lit up a little bit. Julius Caesar down here trying to do some repairs. Uh, one of these rockets is going to kill him, though, if he's not careful. Uh, is he going to try and get a repair on? Yeah, he's getting a window doorway on there. He is, he is able to repair more stone getting repaired. This base is getting repaired. Just fully stoned. Every, all of that damage that they did is just gone. A rocket hits it. Some of the metal that was almost destroyed already gets finished off. And we do have raid block on this server. So it should be cheaper to raid these than it was earlier. It's not going to be a full eight, a full four rockets on that. It looks like they're going to start damaging the gatehouse and stuff down here. It is a shame, though. All of that damage that they did. You know, some of it, some of it's still evident, but it's going to take an extra couple of rockets to get through all this stone in a moment. But they are blowing into the gatehouse now. They're still hitting the tower area here. That's probably a fail rocket. They're probably meant to... They want to keep hitting down there. That was a really good place to keep hitting. And they're doing their best. The raiders, they're doing okay. 15 minutes into this raid right now. Destroying a gatehouse. Pushing in here slowly. Gatehouse... Entrance has been damaged a little bit, but I think they're gonna keep rocketing it. More rockets still flying out of this base. Oh, tower. Tower's gonna to start coming down, and a lot of their peaks are gonna disappear. If that does go down very, very soon. Another rocket hits the frame again. These frames absorbing so many rockets. Smoke grenades coming down, but they're landing in the water, getting immediately destroyed. They hit the stone. One more hit on the stone should destroy it. Phineas getting hit by the M2 from above, panics and goes the wrong way. He needed to hide under here, not over here. Kobe comes down to loot the easy gear set. More rockets are still flying out of this base. Again on the frame. Man, these frames must be so low. They've absorbed a stupid amount of rockets. Perry the Platypus still firing rockets directly to space. That one actually hit the base, but they just want to hit a little bit higher. It must be so hard to hit the frames that many times. There we go. Stone crumbling down again. Julius trying to get some repairs on and they want to just keep blasting into that metal now more l9 fire a heavy rockets coming down m249 Phineas does hit him a little bit there again all of this has opened up but the shemel door got replaced everything got repaired doofenshmirtz fighting with julius both very very low on health there metal gets opened up for the first time they can see into the actual core now Raiders doing a lot better job against this base. Phineas and Doofenshmirtz very low. Julius Caesar pushing Doofenshmirtz. Doofenshmirtz is down. Gets finished and is getting looted now. Kobe very low on the roof. Frame still soaking rockets. Honestly, man. Oh, they're repairing. They need someone holding. They need someone holding. Another frame goes down. The tower goes down. The power to the auto turrets. Oh, half of the auto turrets are gone. Because they, the they had the power in the, in the towers. Half of their auto turrets are now gone. Oh, this is not good for the defenders. I feel like the Raiders have used a huge amount of rockets as well. Kobe doesn't even get hit a single time. They do finish when goes down. More rockets still hitting the base. Phineas still holding up here. And he's shooting... I don't know if that was a HV. I don't know what that was. Kobe's pushing down, though. Broke his legs. No way Phineas didn't hear that. Let's listen to the Raiders here. Yep, I, I, I depot rockets. We're good. Just kill this. Uh, if we kill M2, right. that's a good thing. They're stealing. They're trying to steal. Trying to steal. Yeah, I'm, I'm rocketing again. Uh, hit, hit, uh, uh, compound hit a couple times. Just keep rocketing, keep rocketing. Down by, the, the guy down by the furnaces, or actually right at Yeah, 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 that's time two, that's time two. Roof's unattended right now, boys. Shot him once. Caesar gets tagged again. He must be so low. Rockets just destroying the entire front of this base still. It does make the question. I mean, I, I feel like they got like 20, maybe 30 rockets left, to be honest. Like, I know 90 is a lot of rockets, but they have shot a huge amount. All these auto turrets are offline, though. Like, the, the power's gone. The auto turrets are offline. The defenders pulling out the rocket PvP. Julius are just waiting down here. 
for his chance to HV. The Raiders, I think, I know they keep rocketing because they want to keep the damage high and they want to stop the defenders from being able to repair and stuff. You know, keep damaging everything, keep destroying it all. Doofenshmirtz pushing up there. They're going to seal the auto. It's all blind. The M2 spray from the roof from Kobe. He nearly gets him and he's in. He's, he's going to be giving his team info now. He's getting shot from above, though. I don't know how long he's going to survive in here. Kobe gets nearly beamed. I think he got a headshot, but he does down Phineas. I think he got a headshot by a bully. Doofenshmirtz pushing in very close to TC, actually. Incredibly close to TC right now. Let's listen to the Raiders. Two okay, left, two okay, left. Okay, 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 hold on. But really, well, it's good shit, good shit. Just keep going, keep going. Uh, whoever was rocketing, whether it be Ferb or Fairy, I need y'all to keep rocketing. I got two! Oh, no, I got fucking BBP! Fuck! I was gonna run away with I got two. one shot on him. It's all open. Like, literally all yeah. fucking open. M2 died at the bottom. I'm gonna fucking rush in there, no matter what. Go so ceiling, ceiling, ceiling. Seal, 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 seal. I'm in. I'm gonna push. Push Bombs. him in. Arms. I'm right to CC. I found CC. I found CC. Uh, we need rockets in here, please. I found the door to CC. Oh, that's you. Oh. If you got, oh, I'm dead. Uh, don't go that way. Don't that's go that turret, way. That's turret. That's turret. Hold on. Yeah, I got no. fucking. I got fucking loot. I need ammo. I need oh, ammo. I'm I'm dead. I'm dead. Got him. I need. I need Start looting. Dropping down. Dropping oh, down. Up, up top. Drop down. Got him. I'm down. We're all dead. We're all dead. I got him, but I'm down. You need to rush in here right now. Push down. Push down. I'm coming. I'm coming. I won't get down fast enough. Burbs, start rocketing. No, Burbs, start rocketing. I need you to re rocket, man. This is wild. The back and forth that was insane. Julius Caesar just grabbed a full kit. Phineas. Oh, no. They're dead. They're dead. They're all dead. Unless Julius is too slow here. They're all dead. They're all dead. Oh, Phineas gets in. Phineas gets in. Oh, he can't help his teammate out. He can get a full kit on, though. There's so many focus down here. Everything. The raid hinges on this moment right here. And another rocket comes flying in. Damage on the top of the roof of where the TC is. Julius holding in here. Where is Kobe? He's on the roof again. The M2 is somewhere down here. And all this mess and tangle of bodies. They need to just grab it and get out. Honestly, I think. They get that home. Huge. Honestly. Absolutely huge in the frames. Still absorbing rockets. Still absorbing rockets. F1 grenade comes down. Julius is literally right next to him. He sees him. Phineas gets the kill. Raiders are killing the defenders in the defender's own base. I did not see this coming. Not with this quality of base. I did not see this coming. Doofenshmirtz nearly goes down. Oh, he does go down to Kobe on the roof there. A bit of MP5 spray at Kobe. No hits, though. They need to get rockets in here. HV rocket goes up from Phineas. Doesn't do anything, though. Kobe's already repositioning to a better angle. Honestly, get all these gear sets and get the fuck out. Phineas goes down. We got to push in, boys. Uh, Max, how much time do we have left? 21 minutes and 40 seconds. Okay, perfect. We're doing great. Uh, I'm dead. Oh, the fucking turret! <laughs> uh, we got a problem. Where the fuck are all those rockets? I think that's the last amount of rockets. We got to watch for Push up. Everybody push up. We need help. Raiders are panicking to try and get back in there. Julius Caesar goes down as he tries to get a seal on. Let's listen to the defenders here. Both of them are pushing up. One full kit. Yo, 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 you gotta stay there in core. I think he got core. I think he's trying to run out. I think he might have egg. If the Raiders have like 10 rockets, this is GG. If they've got five, it might not be enough because they've got to get through two HQM double doors. Oh, this is intense. This is intense. This ra the raid is so close right now. All four of the raiders are in here. Let's listen to the defenders again. Phineas dies to his own rocket. Phineas is respawning and running back. Defenders aren't really talking. I think they're just sweating right now. Julius jumps down. Do for and see Julius to see each other. Oh, it's close. Julius gets killed. Where is Kobe? Where is Kobe? Where is, where is Kobe? There he is. There's Kobe. Kobe's coming along. He's just getting geared, I suspect. Jumping up naked gets killed. Oh, this might be the raid. This might be the raid. There is one door, four rockets between the raiders and the TC right now. What's going on, boys? Uh, We're winning, but we're out of rockets almost. So you're, we're just you're out? To... How close? Almost. 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 We're literally, I know we're a door frame sure away. There's one more armor you're a door frame away? Yeah. yeah. Jesus. No, Max is, Max is saying that because he knows we're not. Nah, he knows we are. We gotta do, we gotta do max we reverse psychology. <laughs> nope, we're we're close. We're, I know we are. I know you're. I know we're how close we are. I'm not worried. Oh, I was not smart. And I'm, I'm gonna kill myself. Yeah, no, I thought is. I could do more than one. I thought I could do more than ne one. Next level great. stupid mistake. I don't want to talk about it. I don't want to talk about it. Ah, <laughs> uh, fuck. I, I I feel like we wasted a little bit of rockets, and that's the only reason we're losing this. I'm like, we're literally. I know we're a door or two away. He's tumbled. He's got my body. 
He got the M2 Y. Oh, and I'm dead. Oh, that's you. So, watch out. The kid right here, dude. He's not on your team. Oh, wait, what the fuck? Move, move, please, move, please. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Let's just go up. Do whatever you do, just do it. I'm dead. Man. I, yeah, I, know I don't do. know what you're I doing there. Do. I got stuck there. The quad headshot from uh, Kobe there may have just saved the raid. There is one raider still alive, and he is... I mean, honestly, if I were him, I'd be sat here, literally. I'd be sat right here. They are literally a door. Like, that is insane. They're a door. They could probably throw the egg through this as well to get it out. This is so painful. This is actually so painful right now to watch. We've never had a raid where... I mean, no, that's a lie. We've had raids where it's literally... They've got the egg, and then the guys defending have got it back as they were leaving the compound and then, like, saved the own raid. They are so close to winning this. They need five rockets. Kobe... He's going, he's working his way down. Oh no, Ferb's reloading. This is it. Look, that's it. That's it. There's no way. It might be all, uh, I never might heard be a garage way. door. I don't know how the nope. fuck he got in. Don't call it yet. I'm not calling it. I'm just saying it might be over. We're so close, but we're like barely out of rockets. If we had like- How the hell did he miss all those bullets? Sorry. I couldn't see the green. Yep, I'm dead. My god, the fucking turret on us. Like, oh. Killed one. There's still a door. Like, they're literally... I mean, it's a sheet metal door. And then that garage door hasn't been shut. Kobe really should have shut that. He might get up. There's a chance. I don't know how low the sheet metal door is. But uh, if I were Phineas, I'd, I'd honestly... I'd, I'd launch a HV or anything. <gasps> Killed one. Nice I'm all going. in. All in. All in. I got everything. I got everything. I need people here yeah. now. Do you have TC? I'm coming. I'm here. No cheese. That garage door is going to fuck them. Like, that garage door is going to get shut in a minute, and that's going to completely ruin everything for them. They literally need a hand of five rockets, bro. They had 90. Five rockets right now. I need y'all to hold me, okay? I'm going to start HV and need y'all hold. Shooting out stone isn't even that hard. Like, they just need a bunch of ammo, and they've got ammo. And they can get the ammo from the defenders as well. This is still doable. And the raiders are just, honestly, it's so close. They're naked, jumping down. They don't know what to do right now. I want to know how close they are. Because it can't damage you, obviously, so... No, I'm good, I'm good. Just hit right, it. Nice. I'm gonna go hold. I need, I need... How many of y'all? I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead. Finny, Finny. Oh, Ferb, 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 he's pushing you, he's pushing you. I'm dead. Did I'm down. Lose? The garage door that I said would fuck them has just been closed. Julius with the MP5. Nearly kills Lufenschmerz. Gets beamed immediately by Phineas. Kobe goes for the play but dies as well. They need to get all these... Uh, honestly, like, right now... If I'm in their shoes, I'm screaming at my team to f grab a full inventory of guns and run. Just get the hell out of here with all the guns that you can find. More HP is being launched. I don't even know who that was or where. They're going to be shooting out the frames here. It's going to be kind of hard to hit that frame, actually, I'd say. He is actually doing a really good job of it. I would potentially just shoot this side instead. Another HV. Oh, that's Perry inside. I'm trying to figure out where the hell these HVs are coming from. It's Perry. Watch Shine out. They're running around. They're alive. Wait. Oh, he's shooting out that wall. If this wall is low, they can get their bedrooms and stuff. Kobe's going to be dropping down in a second. He's looking for an easy pick. He's running. He's going to get an angle here. Phineas is about to break in. Oh, Kobe might be able to get a good angle here. Kobe's going to make a play, maybe. No. 11 minutes left on this raid right now. <gasps> Kobe, Kobe's going to get easy kills. Kobe's getting one kill. Easy, M2. Double kill, triple kill. Everyone is dead except for Perry again. Rocketing, Chris. Perry, stop rocketing. Start holding yourself yeah, with HPs. Just hold yourself with HPs. All these guns and gear sets are still laying in here. It means it's so easy for the Raiders just to get re-geared. They're literally grabbing Hazzy MP5s just to try and get a kill. And, uh, and now they've got M2s and everything else they could ever possibly want. Julius Caesar... It's an easy pick on one of the raiders. They literally, they're literally running in naked. They should have got all these guns and gear sets out. That that was this, that's lost in the raid. I genuinely believe that. And that would have been GG. And Kobe's getting a seal on. It's a weak seal, but it's something. Perry's still inside. It's not over till Perry runs out of HVs. <laughs> this garage door probably still perfectly full health, doing absolutely fine. And here we go. Oh, the head! <gasps> they traded. Shit. That might have been both. No. Doors open. Up, doors open. I'm dead. I'm dead. There's like four. I mean, there's two. There's two. 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 Kobe spawned. Grabs a gun immediately. So quickly. Yeah. They. 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 They're in there.
Okay, guys, we're gonna call the raid there. Both teams won today. So I don't know if there's a clip. Bro, 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 I said stop shooting. Come on. I'm, 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 I thought I thought we were still fine. No, I said it's over. I literally said it's over. Uh, that, that's an automatic disqualification. Yeah, you know what? Uh, I think the win. UK wins just for that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the UK is better. Yeah. No way. Is that it? Is yeah. That... Dude, yeah, one more cool. rocket, we would have had it. Yeah, one regular rocket, you're in. I'm not even kidding. Uh, and then there was uh, one stack 78, another stack is 84, and then the other stack was 90. So it was two and a half rows. What do we waste it on? What the heck? Yeah. I think it all hit the metal frames. To it, be no, it the is. metal frames. I literally said about three times metal frames are MVP. They must have absorbed about 16 rockets. Like this was 14 HP, for example. I thought it was over when you were balls deep in their base for like 20 minutes nearly. That was so intense. From the Raiders POV, give me an honest opinion. Which team was better? Or maybe give them both a rating out of 10 if you'd prefer. Okay, so UK... UK team was better, I would say. Um, Ooh, just because of the way they did it. Drama. On point. I'm just, I'm just being for real. Like, I, I, I was on both. I, I'm not, I'm, I'm a US player, so that's just proving I'm not just choosing sides just because I'm US. <laughs> the US players weren't as great. Um, I feel like the, the UK had it down a lot better. We would have won. It's just the problem is we didn't, uh, we didn't aim the rockets properly. Um, yeah, I, I'd say the aim on the uh, UK guys was a little bit better. I'd say the base building was a lot better on the Americans. Oh, it's kind sure. of yeah. I agree there. I I disagree. You disagree? Know, I disagree. <laughs> I damn. I agree. I disagree. The other base uh, was awkward because this is like a very basic kind of boring no, base. I've seen it built so many times. Yeah. And I've seen uh, that UK base. Never seen it before. No clue. How I have 6,000 hours. I don't think anyone's ever seen that UK base before. For yeah. good reason. Yeah, that's For good, good reason. <laughs> that's, the, that's the problem. Even though yeah. it's like a, it looks bad on the outside, nobody knew how to raid it. So we just got fucked because we had no clue. Like, where do we go in? How do we raid this? We can maybe leave it up to the comment section. Who won? Was it the US or the UK? I, I'm keen to lean a bit more on the UK purely because with their, I mean, a pile of shit of a base, they managed to actually defend it which i was surprised at this one i expected to do a little bit better than it did but obviously you know maybe you guys having a bit of a practice run against the british guys uh, made it a little bit easier for you to raid this one I, I i don't know maybe you're just a bit more organized coming in maybe because the aim on these guys isn't quite as good as this first team you're a bit more That's able true. to get closer you know maybe because the base is a bit more like something you're experienced at raiding you, you kind of knew what you were going to do so i'll leave it up to the comment section to decide who won Again, I'm leaning more towards UK, but I, I think both teams did amazingly well. At the end of the day, both the Americans and the UK guys won today. Let me know which team you thought won tonight. Personally, like I said, I'm edging on the UK team purely because of the progress that the Raiders made on the USA base. But I want to hear your opinion down below. Are we going to call this 1-1 and do a third one in a month or two? Or are we giving the win to the USA? And speaking of that last video, why not check it out on screen now? Or you can go ahead and look at my Patreon, where you can earn yourself some rewards while supporting the channel and i'll catch you in the next one peace